How deep does the rabbit hole go? Does it go? Does it go? How deep is the rabbit hole? Uh, which rabbit hole? Which rabbit hole are we talking about today? Let's talk about the QAnon. Q. The QAnon rabbit hole. Probably the greatest LARP live action role play in the history of the internet. It resulted in murders. It results in, in a wild conspiracy that... Donald Trump himself, the President of the United States, is leaking sensitive, classified information through a Japanese Fortran, Japanese website. Uh, you believe it? I don't know. So fucking a lot of people believed it. We've got Lionel Nation, Jerome Corsi, Roger Stone, Robert David Steele, the amazing Polly Pry, praying medic. Jordan Sather, Seething Frog, and many, many others have pushed the conspiracy theory of, of QAnon to death, right? literally to death. So today, uh, I've been covering, I think it's, I'm pretty exclusive on uh, covering this story, is, is the uh, QAnon killer, right? Anthony Camillo, the kid from Staten Island, who whacked the Gambino crime boss, Frankie Cali. He killed this guy right here. This is Frankie Cali. Hey, Frankie, how you doing? It's the gang, is the is the the dispute undisputed crime boss of the Gambino crime family, right? He whacked the guy, right? Now everybody thought it was a, a political whack. It was a was a, a mob hit, but it turns out it really wasn't, right? So, so these guys are back in the news today. Here he is. This is uh, Anthony Camillo, and at court he showed up the first time in court in New Jersey when they got him. And you see he's got the Q sketched on his hand. United we stand. MAGA forever. MAGA forever. Patriots in charge. USA. Does it sound familiar? I, I know. It's just a, it's just a conspiracy. Listen, when I was a kid, right? When I was a kid. Now, I'm not, I'm not bashing the, the freedom to con- create a conspiracy theory online. But I'm just telling you that the people that fell for this particular... LARP, let's call it what it is. It's a live action role play. Somebody, somebody pulled a fast one on everybody and convinced them that, that somehow that this guy was, this Q character was intimately connected to state, directly to the president. Now, and, a lot, and as I said, I read the list off. Prominent uh, internet media people fell for this and promoted it as if it were real. And what happens is it's like it's the equivalent of promoting, you know, it's like saying Santa Claus is real. Right? Prove he's not real. That's what you're saying, right? Prove he's not real because Santa Claus is, is uh, do we think it's, it's fantasy? Is it just a made up story or is it real, right? Uh, or, or, the, or the other situation, more, more practical, is the kid, right? That uh, goes and he watches, he sees Superman in the movies. Ah, oh, he loves Superman, Superman flying through the air, right? So he comes home and then the next morning, he puts a cape on, and, and he lives on the fourth floor of, of a building, and he says, you know what? Just like Superman, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the day. I'm going to jump off the, the, my balcony, and I'm going to fly and, and catch all the bad guys. And he does that. And the, four-year-old, you know, the, the seven-year-old kid has his cape on, the, on his neck, and he's up on the balcony, and he fl- tries to fly off, and pow, he smacks down on the c- concrete, right? So... Now, is that Superman's fault? Is it Superman's fault that the child emulated his hero and jumped off the building and, and killed himself? I don't know. There is an argument to be made that um, there may be a responsibility. Uh, I, I, I don't even think there is because it's like, it's like the artist creates, right? The artist is the people that make the movie. They create their, they create their art. And... And then it, they're not responsible for the outcome of the art. They're just the art. It's like J- John Lennon said that. They, they try to pin John Lennon and say, John Lennon, aren't you responsible for the, for the millions of people rallying against you know, po- politics and, and the anti-war movement? Aren't you responsible? Don't you think you have a responsibility? He says, hell fucking no. I'm just a, I'm just a song and dance guy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so I think, it's, I think what, what I'm saying is that it's, it's very similar uh, in that Camillo was following the new sensation, the new Superman, which was Q online. 
I, and I'm going to tell you, there's more, there's more court filings. I just want to give you the background if you don't know who Anthony Camillo was. About six months ago, Anthony Camillo pulls up to a, um, he, he knocks on Frankie Cali's door. Uh, the Gambino crime boss lives in Toad Hill in Staten Island. He, they have a discussion. Camillo pulls out a 9 millimeter, unloads the gun, the handgun on him, fires like 12 shots, hits him with 10 at point blank, uh, kills him. Right? And it was also was alleged that he, he knocked the guy's license plate off. But he had the video camera. He's not disputing that, that he did it. I believe the police even have a confession. But at this point, the lawyers are trying. The lawyer, Robert Gottlieb, is trying to make a case for uh, uh, mental defect, insanity plea. Put him in a mental institution and not a jail. So again, Frankie Cali's the guy. Uh, here's here's his next court appearance. I'm going to get to the article in a second. Just relax. I want to give you the background. So uh, he's still alive. He, <laughs> you know, he's definitely in in uh, high high security high security risk in jail, uh, Anthony Camillo, f- for being whacked by the Gambinos. You don't get away with that. The Gambinos will have a, they will try to kill him. The second he's in, the, you know, general population, he, his number's up. But nonetheless, August 13th, uh, he'll be back at uh, Supreme Court in Staten Island, Part 14. Uh, I'll probably be there, check it out. And, but let's look at the, the rabbit hole. Let's, come on, really, come on, guys. Let's wake up. Alex Jones, too, right? C- the conspiracy theory of, of, these, of these LARPs is, is, uh, is it, it's just clickbait? Is it money-making? Or do they actually believe it? Is it... My, my view of QAnon was that QAnon stemmed out of uh, Trump discontent. So it was that, that people wanted Trump to lock everybody up. He was going to drain the swamp. He was going to... He was going to throw all the bad guys in jail and he was going to save the day and he was going to bring all the jobs back to America. He was going to build the wall and keep out all the, all the, all the forbidden fruit. He was going to do all these, these magnificent things. He was going to bring, he was going to make America great again. Right? And when, he, when, he, when it didn't happen, when it didn't happen fast enough or, or swift enough or at all, there's discontent. And, then, and that's how the conspiracies Evolve. So here's, let's watch, uh, let's watch Alex Jones spin a, spin a conspiracy. QAnon links resignation of Google Schmidt to Trump's executive order targeting black money pools worldwide that are involved in the trafficking of humans. And of course, that's heavily what the Clinton Foundation has been caught being involved in in Haiti and all over the world in Associated Press investigative reports. So you have to understand, folks, these people literally see other humans as animals. So that's just part of it. But I wanted to get Dr. Corsi just to pop in for a few minutes, Infowars.com, D.C. Bureau Chief Head. What's going on in the tea leaves here with this Schmidt resignation? Uh, I think this is the beginning. I, I, when I noticed the QAnon post today, and I've been following QAnon much more closely, he, he appears to be an insider who is really uh, telegraphing information coming out of the White House. Uh, and and advance and he's been very very accurate now the post today was that there is a no coincidence you know one of the fundamental rules of politics nothing's a coincidence that eric schmidt resigns so there's there's course he's spinning the QAnon theory it's very very it's highly secretive intelligence operative known as QAnon. right here's another one here's his i mean this is insane thank you hoax wars for putting this together it's pretty cool no, I, I agree with that. And let me just point out, let That's me just guy. point out that pedophilia does not stop with sodomizing children. It goes straight into terrorizing them to adrenalize their... This is a little, this is uh, Robert David Steele. This is a little different uh, spin on, this is not quite QAnon, but it, it has to do with that QAnon, one of the things you're going to find out in this article is that the kid said that he believed that Trump, that QAnon was connected to Trump and that the mission was to rid the rid politics of all of the pedophiles and uh, deep state uh, uh, corruption, right? So that's, that's part of the QAnon conspiracy, to the, the, that everybody's a pedophile. ...mizing children. It goes straight into terrorizing them to adrenalize their blood and then murdering them. It also includes murdering them so that they can have their bone marrow harvested as well as body parts. 
Pedophilia is much This is the bigger. original growth hormone. Yes, yes. It's an anti-aging thing. And, and um, this may strike your listeners as way out, but we actually believe that there is a colony on Mars that is populated by children who were kidnapped and sent into space on a 20-year ride. Uh, so that once they get to Mars, they have no alternative but to be slaves on the Mars colony. Uh, there's all kinds of... And now, I didn't say it. He said it, right? So there's there's the, the conspiracy theory. And they're all kind of connected. This guy is connected in there. He's the guy who sues everybody. He's suing someone else because they defamed him. But, you know, you're on TV. You know, you're on the Internet saying that there's, that there's child slave colonies on Mars, right? You said it. I didn't say it. And then the same kooks say that you can't get to the moon, right? So who's right? I don't know. So here's Camillo again. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the news. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Ten minutes in, we'll get to the news. Suspected mob boss killer uh, thought victims were, was prominent member of the deep state. Now, if you're a QAnon follower, if you're you know, certainly a, a uh, watcher of this channel, you know that deep state, this term doesn't really strike you anymore. We know who the prominent members are. They're FBI, they're CIA. They're unknowns as well. They're double agents, people perhaps like Hillary Clinton that work, uh, have one foot in one door, one foot in the other door. Uh, so it's not that striking to, to the community watching this right now. Uh, now, the man accused of gunning down a mafia kingpin on Staten Island was intending to kill a, was, was, wasn't intending to kill a mob boss that day, his lawyers say. In his eyes, in his eyes, Anthony Camillo was taking out a prominent member of the deep state. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let me, uh, I, I interviewed the guy. I interviewed him. Uh, where did I interview him? Here he is. Here, watch. Watch this fantastic reporter. Remember this? I, I did the uh, interview with his lawyer on the steps at St. George uh, Criminal Court uh, in Staten Island. Mr. Gottlieb, how much, uh, how much uh, influence do you think QAnon had uh, White House, you had mentioned the last time around that, uh, that it was hate speech coming down from the White House. How much, of, uh, how much, of, how much evidence do you have that, uh, well, how much, I guess my question is, how much time did uh, Camillo spend online uh, in this QAnon conspiracy? Uh, as far as computing how much time, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll conduct our own forensic evaluation of the computer, of his phones. Um, but I will repeat, nothing has changed. In fact, since the uh, last time we were in court, it's only been confirmed that uh, uh, the hate speech uh, found on multiple uh, right-wing conspiracy uh, websites uh, have uh, played a very significant uh, critical role in understanding what happened in this case. Uh, this is not some idle speculation. Uh, it's not uh, trying to set up some legal defense. We're just talking about the facts, the truth. And there's no doubt that uh, uh, this case reflects uh, the, the impact that words, hate words, hate speech can have on an individual, an individual who is vulnerable. Uh, and it goes far beyond Mr. Camello. So it's a serious issue. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, all the facts, the truth, uh, will be, uh, will come out. Just a little follow-up. Can you, would you, uh, do you think that QAnon, the QAnon conspiracy, the people behind it, should be held accountable? My Are they responsible? My concern right now is uh, uh, representing Mr. Camello. He's the individual who's charged right now, and I'm going to do everything possible uh, to uh, to protect him legally. Uh, as far as other people being held accountable, that's for other authorities. Uh, but people should not turn their eyes from the reality of, of what happened here and why it happened. Wow, what a great reporter, man. Damn, fucking guy. Thank God we got these reporters out there reporting on the news. So you heard him say it, right? I, I, I did would disagree with the one part where he says uh, hate speech, that it's hate speech, because it's not, is it, what is hate speech? It's not hate speech. It's just, it's conspiracy theory. 
are there pedophiles in, in politics? Yes, we know that now. Now with the, the Epstein case unraveling, we know it. We don't know to what extent. I have conspiracy theory, it's all theory until you actually have evidence on the table. Uh, but uh, it is, I would just, I agree with all that he's saying, that it is, it is possible that uh, Camillo really, really in his heart of hearts believed that he was being uh, directed by Q. So here's the here's the man accused. Here he is in jail, staring us down. The man accused of gunning down a mafia kingpin on Staten Island wasn't intending to kill a mob boss that day, his lawyers say. In his eyes, Anthony Camillo was taking out a prominent member of the deep state, whom he alleged allegedly tried to arrest at first. He went there with the intention of making a citizen's arrest on Camillo on on Frankie Cali because he believed Frankie Cali was part of the deep state. The deep state. He ardently believed that Frank Francisco Cali, a boss in the Gambino crime family, was a prominent member of the deep state and accordingly a, a, an appropriate target for a citizen's arrest, said Gottlieb, in court filings on Friday. So I didn't see the court filings, but this is the Post reporting. Times reported it. I would uh, imagine it's true. Mr. Camillo became, quote, Mr. Camillo became certain that he was enjoying the protection of President Trump himself and that he had the president's full support, Gottlieb said. The 24-year-old had been convinced that Cali was connected to the infamous QAnon conspiracy, which claims there's a political deep state secretly running the country from within the government among other things. Mr. Camillo's support for QAnon went beyond mere participation in a radical organization, his lawyer said. It evolved into a delusional obsession. Ah. See, that's what I've been trying to say all along. When does it cross into delusional, you know, obsession? We see it all the time online. People, you saw this guy talking about you know, space, children on Mars and politicians drinking the, the adrenalized blood of babies, selling their organs, shipping them off to Mars to be sex slaves. Where does it, where does it stop? I mean, again, 100% respect your right to, to say it, but you have to respect my right to, to criticize it and call it out. That's all I'm saying, right? But it is delusional. Or is it opportunist? Are the people saying it, uh, the, you know, the list, the laundry list of people saying it, are they truly convinced? Have they crossed over to obsession, right? And then that's the, those are the narrators of the, of the thing, right? I had, I had uh, you know, hey, Defango, I had Defango on the show. He said he created QAnon. You've got another handful of people saying that they are QAnon. Uh, so who is QAnon? Certainly there is no... No evidence, no, suge- no solid evidence that it's connected to state in any way. It's almost 99% debunked at this point. So, but then, then what happens is you've got, okay, so that's the narrators. Those are the narrators, the curators of the show, the, the, um, the directors of the school play. But then when the children sit in the school play, one of those children gets out of his chair and acts out the play in real life, whether it's a murder, whether it's a, uh, 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 you know, a child rape, right? A, a, you know, some other, some other, you know, uh, deviant plot, right? So let's keep reading. Gottlieb intends to argue in court that Camillo's delusions about the QAnon conspiracy drove him to commit murder. Wow. And they are enough to, and that they are enough to prove he is not guilty by reason of insanity. Hold on a second. That's heavy. That is heavy, man. To prove by reasons of insanity, right? He's seeking to have Camillo placed in psychiatric psychiatric care rather than prison. Now, I know there's a lot of people suing each other in in the in this community, right? And the the fact is, if precedence is set in this case. Uh, in other words, if Gottlieb is is successful at getting Anthony Camillo uh, placed in psychiatric care rather than sit in jail and rot for the murder that he did, 
then you have precedence, which basically says that the QAnon conspiracy drove someone to commit murder and and created a, uh, a, a psychiatric situation, reasonable insanity, mental defect that the people promoting this thing and following it are mentally defected. According to Gottlieb, the young man's obsession with the deep state and other QAnon conspiracies is like the belief that certain democratic politi- politicians are secretly pedophiles led, him, led to him making multiple arrests attempts earlier this year. So he was trying to arrest people. Now, that's not entirely false. Are there po- Democratic politicians secret pedophiles? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. We don't know for sure. Uh, we know at least Anthony Weiner was. He, uh, you know, uh, pay, uh, this, he, he liked young girls just like uh, Epstein, right? Um, and he tried, this, this kid tried to make multiple arrests. So it's not entirely fa- fantastical, fantasist. <laughs> it's not entirely fantasy, but... It's to, the, to what degree? Are they all pedophiles? Is every politician drinking the blood of babies? It's fucking ridiculous, right? According to Gottlieb, the young man's obsession with the deep... Uh, uh, in February, Camillo allegedly tried to take uh, Mayor de Blasio into custody on two separate occasions, one of which involved him showing up at Gracie Mansion. So this is just the background. Um, he tried to arrest Maxine Waters and Adam Schiff, um, U.S. Marshals... You know, knocked him down. The inc- the incidents are confirmed by law enforcement officials. So he did try to lock up Maxine Waters, Adam Schiff, uh, Mayor De Blasio, and apparently he tried to lock up Frankie Cali on Staten Island. And and his lawyers, as you're going to see, and I think in the end of this story, is that Camillo, that Frankie Cali went for something in his belt, and that's when um, that's when. He, so, so the kid shows up, I want to place you under citizen's arrest. And the, the, the godfather pulled, was, reached for something. And, and um, uh, Camillo thought he was reaching for a gun and shot him dead. That's becoming the, the argument. Now, there was no gun found on Fr- Frankie Cali, at least that we know of. We need to find that out. Over the years, Camillo made thousands and thousands of posts, posts messages, and form comments about QAnon conspiracy which Gottlieb plans to use in court as evidence. Quote, Patriot sleeper cells are awake, he wrote on occasions. Gottlieb said Camillo believed that Callie, a member of the Gambino crime family, had been connected to the deep state after seeing a post online that suggested mafia figures were also part of the conspiracy. So he reads one day, oh, look, the mob is... The Gambinos are, are connected to the deep state. I'm going to go whack one of them. You see how the conspiracy, how a guy... Now, also, for the record, Kim, uh, uh, Camillo, when, when arrested, was apparently strung out on opioids. He seemed to be, you know, itching and scratching and, you know, doing the junky kind of moves. And then the next time in court, he was very, 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 very clear as if they had, you know, as, they, as if they had uh, detoxed him. So there is a, a, an element of drug, drug abuse, drug addiction on the part of Camillo. And you, you, know, you label that, you, 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 you connect that or you join that with a, a conspiracy theory like QAnon. And now you've got a fucking psychopath running around ready to sh- lock people up and shoot people. He is accused of killing the mob, um, the, the mob boss on March 13th outside his Toad Hill home. The slaying was believed to be premeditated. Absolutely. Second degree murder. He drove by a few times. The defendant fired 12 shots, striking him 11 times. Uh, He drove by the victim's uh, house several times, hours before the attack. During his first court appearance in March, Camillo showed up with his palm covered in the drawings of the symbol and phrases tied to QAnon. The QAnon killer. There he is, man. That's how he showed up to court. Right? That's how he showed up to court. He killed this guy. Right? There it is. There's the evidence, right? There's the evidence. Right? QAnon, um, he believed that only their laws are the laws he and the rest of, his, of this country should follow, he said. Camillo is due back in court August, August 13. 
Wow. So what a what a sh- what a shit storm this is, right? So, so again, Anthony Camillo. I mean, let's talk about it, right? Is he? Is it? Is it? It does. Should should people forget about Camillo? Camillo is done, right? The kid that shot the the guy, the the murderer, the guy who shot the guy. They're not disputing. I think it's indisputable at this point. Uh, did he? I I believe there is a confession, but there's a lot of video apparently the NYPD has from security cameras that actually show him firing the shots. They have uh, fingerprints on the car. They have fingerprints. They have the weapon. They have the 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 path of the car that he took back to New Jersey. They got the whole thing. There's no way that he could you know, beat it. So, I mean, the, the, by reason of insanity, to go into a, 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 the direction of insanity is, is, is logical for the lawyers. However, the real story is, is to the people that, that are in the community, is QAnon responsible? Is QAnon responsible in the way that Superman is responsible when a young boy jumps off the fire escape and thinks he can fly? Uh, is he? I mean, is it, it, it? Should we? Should we? Should there be any bans on speech of this nature? My answer is no. My answer is freedom of speech is freedom of speech, freedom of creation. You can say that because again, like you remember in in music, heavy metal was polluting our children. The sound of heavy metal drove people to satanic ritual. Remember all that nonsense. So this is, in my view, this is, isn't any different. It's, um, it should be protected by the First Amendment. But it also, I, what, I, what, I, what I frown upon, in my view, is that when I saw QAnon for the first time, I, it, just, it just struck me right away as bullshit, as some kind of, you know, fake LARP. Another, again, I said it earlier, that it was a, it was a, a, re, a it was a LARP, to harvest Trump discontent, that Trump didn't deliver on his promise. So now we have to speculate that he's operating behind the scenes and he's going to free his people. Right? And I saw it, I mean, to me, I saw it right away. And, uh, but apparently this laundry list of, of right-leaning, you know, um, Lionel Nation, Jerome Corsi, Roger Stone, uh, uh, amazing Polly, Robert David Steele, Praying Medic, Jordan Sather, Seething Frog, Alex Jones, and others believed, believed, they took the bait because they, they believed, most of those people, I believe, believed that Trump was the man, right? And um, couldn't see through the fog. Right? So I believe Q is still going. Q is still, he's still out there, right? Q and on is still posting. No one has, no one has, has stopped it at this point. So, um, you know, there it is. There's a kid sitting in jail right now. And um, he definitely killed the guy. He definitely fired the gun, shot the guy. Does he, did he really believe, does he really believe that, was he delusional enough to believe that Frankie Cowley was somehow connected to the deep state and that he was acting out the will of the President of the United States? I believe he believed it because he did it to, you know, uh, he went up to de Blasio. He tried to arrest Adam Schiff and Maxine Waters. Uh, so he actually believed it. He not only speculated about it, but he believed it so in his heart of hearts that he acted on it. And it raises the question, how many other people out there right now, how many other people in, the, in, in this country and in the world are in the same place as Anthony Camillo, right on the edge of killing, right on the edge of acting out these insane um, citizen rescue missions right now. How many are, how many are out there? That's what you got to ask yourself. So Marcus Conti reporting, kindly become a Patreon of this channel and a uh, well, one-time contribution through PayPal. I appreciate that. That's how I keep it floating. Demonetized station, you can't tell the truth and, and make money uh, today. <laughs> so kindly contribute, buy stickers on eBay. Thank you very much. Marcus Conte reporting.